I've been, I've been, uh, I've been working with uh, the guys you're going to see tonight. Eight brilliant uh, new stand-up comedians. It's very rare that you get to see uh, eight stand-up comedians' first ever gig. Well, that's what we're going to see tonight. The first of many. Um, we said, uh, yeah, we've booked the O2 for December. So this is uh, ambitious, but you've got to be ambitious. Tom Perry, uh, who's, uh, facilitate, who's the facilitator, who's the mentor, he's a very, very, very uh, helping. He's a very uh, facilitating guy because he just make it very easy for us, uh, which is a good thing. So we didn't even feel any pressure. We didn't even feel that we are doing something. But on the way, on the lines, we were doing something. Uh, all the other guys around me, they're all very good. They're all very talented. They have their own charisma, talents. The thing which I really, uh, so when I, like, uh, when I first came to England, so everything was new for me, even the trains, the transport system, the weather. Uh, let alone all the people look like same to me and uh, uh, I've been told always that I have to become comedian I always thought that suited me but I never really had a platform to get into it unfortunately and uh, after living 14 years in this country this platform this place totally changed my life like upside down and because this is what I love to do and we have professional coach to, do, to teach us what to do it's just brilliant, yeah. But then um, we got there to the pub, and for me it was very strange. I tell you why, because in Iran, after protests, you don't go to pub, you go to hospital. <laughs> you know, hospital. <laughs> they don't serve beer. Um, <laughs> yeah, the first thing Tom said during the workshop, like, don't try to be funny. And that's actually like really freeing, you know, just like be yourself, talk about what you know, people that you know about, and yeah, it's, I really enjoy the process. Yeah, my dad, like, it's so special to me. We have, like, a very strong connection. Um, he looks kind of like Robert De Niro, but more like a Middle Eastern Robert De Niro, who ate too much kebab. Yeah, that's my dad. For this Sunday, I said to my friend, I have a stand-up comedy show. It's all of them, before the stand-up was laughing to me. I said, nobody expected I to go to the stand-up comedy. There's a finger, there's a finger, pin their finger. There's a thousand, thousand every day. I love them. <laughs> I've never performed on stage, so it's very brand new to me. I'm not really used to it, talking in public, so it's very unknown milieu for me, but it's, I'm excited, though. It's so nice. <laughs> when I arrived in London, I just discovered that British people are all polite, or they pretend to be polite. And <laughs> I'm really prepared to give them joy for the people. I think they will laugh, they will enjoy at the end of the night. So yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. What time is it? Uh, now? No, no, no. Tomorrow. Uh, uh, next week. What kind of silly question is that? I mean, Eight people, like different uh, countries and yeah, different, you know, humor, different uh, perspective stories, so it's exciting. It's good, you'll figure it out. Then early morning at 6 o'clock, uh, we took the bus to town center and we find two black men in the bus. And me and my friend, of course, is black, like four black now. And the driver is a black man as well. And then, like after five minutes, Someone he stopped the bus and he's black. One. Now it's the six. Another one is black one. Seven. After that, someone he stopped and he asked the driver, uh, excuse me, is this the bus is going to town center? He said, no, this is going to Africa. <laughs> I hopefully this workshop continue after today and can be followed the stand up comedian in Peru. My skills to stand up on me. My neighborhood asked me, Oh Majid, why you have curly hair? What can I say? Talk to my, talk to my mom. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for this, for you guys to organize this thing because this is really a great experience. So hopefully we're gonna keep continue this thing. So I appreciate that. Thank you. This is what I love and I got it now. It's just what else can happen, really, better than this, you know? Uh, I don't need to work in pub anymore. I can become a comedian. <laughs>